welcome back to another crypto video guys so yeah the weekend's been pretty volatile for bitcoin um it's been kind of down a little bit altcoins kind of where they are a couple dip from where before the uh etf got approved when we had that dip almost about where we were at before the bitcoin's down retesting support um i think it's like forty three thousand right now maybe 44 um, like I said, I think we might just move sideways for a guy wise, uh, for a while, guys. Yeah, I'm getting words mixed up, bro. I'm trying to figure out this damn thing. It's annoying. But yeah, um, there ain't much really going on in the crypto world. It's been kind of stagnant. Altcoins have been, you know, like I said, about where they were about a week ago. Good time to accumulate. Accumulation. No breathing. But yeah, um, Algorand and Hedera, like I said, that I was looking into that and apparently they made a partnership about, they're trying to create some kind of, uh, like some kind of program to help people from losing their wallets, like their key phrases or I don't know. I didn't really look too much into it, guys. I've been working two jobs, but, um, besides that, we're getting close to the halving. I don't know what really price action might just be kind of kind of sideways. It's really dependent on data. At this point now, we we moved past the ETF. Now we're looking at data coming out, like jobs reports, earnings reports, and of course some CPI and CP, uh, CPE. That's what the Federal Reserve based uh, they base their decisions on the interest rates off the data that's released, and it comes out every month. You know, and they review it. So hopefully we get rate cuts, Brad. I'm looking forward to that. I think I came up with a pump song. I think it's gonna go like this. I gotta go to work soon and I'm just, I just wanted to post something for you guys, but I'm gonna make a video tomorrow about taxes. It's actually kind of simple, but it's not, you know, cause there's a lot of things involved, like all the, they come out with new tax laws January 1st of this year. One of them being, if you make any transaction over 10,000, you have to report it to the IRS in 15 days or penalty by felony. Yeah, bro. That's kind of suspect. I, I think it's for individuals and businesses. So the IRS is really starting to crack down on all this stuff. Now too, I saw that um, any staking rewards, um, basically yield farming, anything you made, even referral bonuses, they want to pay taxes on now. Pretty crazy. You guys just be aware of that. I'm gonna make a video on it though. Because a lot of you guys, you know, you're coming in here. I don't know how much you make at your job, but that really determines how much you're going to be taxed on, too. Depends on what tax bracket you're in, guys. Um, I can just give you a quick example. Like, say you make 50K a year and you're a single head of household, okay? So that makes your tax liability basically anything up to 60,000 you don't have to pay taxes on. So say you make 50K at your job, okay, and you made 30,000 in, in crypto. And profit so basically 10,000 of that you're gonna be paying 0% on and then 30,000 of that you're gonna be in a different tax bracket so you're gonna be paying 15% of that 30k not as you go up you know the this tax differently they don't tax you all the same for you know so knowing that I think even the short-term capital gains aren't that bad as I thought they were. I'm not sure like really taxing out like, you know, six figure type things. Then you're gonna be paying a lot. Then you're gonna be paying like 30% or more. So, but yeah, I guess this, this is a pretty weird video. I didn't really talk about much, but you know, guys just don't ignore the volatility. There ain't really much to talk about right now. Price action, usually over the weekend, uh, you know, 
there's not much volume. Usually that's all during the week, basing it off the news and stuff, all these reports coming out. And plus the stock market's closed. Uh, now Bitcoin is directly correlated with, it's like in the stock market exchange now. It's just crazy. I can't even like, it's kind of weird thinking about it like that. It's like, wow, Bitcoin's being traded in, on Wall Street now. Um, yeah. Very interesting, guys. We are definitely moving along. The adoption is happening. Um, honestly, this ETF thing, we're going to have ETFs of all kinds of shit come out now. Gonna be, next one's going to be Ethereum, of course. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the... When the ETF was approved, ETH was pumping hard as shit. I was looking at that and I was like, why is Bitcoin like, you know, this is Bitcoin's time to shine. Why is ETH still on the show? ETH was up like 12% and Bitcoin was only up like, you know, single digits, like five or something. And I'm just like, what's going on with this, you know? And I think the markets are forward looking. They're always forward looking. People are like, okay, we got the ETF approved. People are already looking for the next thing. Like, oh, fuck, it's already been approved. That's old news, bro. It's old news. What's next? What can I invest in right now to make money? What? Oh, ETH? ETH? Oh, shit. ETH, ETH ETF. ETH ETF. Oh, shit. Bro, 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 bro. Invest everything right now. ETH ETF right now. ETH ETF. See good. That's how they think, dude. It's kind of like stressful thinking about that. It's like people are always trying to find the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. I understand it because I do it too a little bit, but it's just like, dude, I don't know. Sometimes it's just like questionable. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. <laughs>